Hello, and I'm back for the next part of the Caitlyn Irwin Challenge. Last time we lost all of our stuff, and um, I guess what we need to do now is um, recover, I guess, from all of this. So I'm going to put on our shoddy armor. The main thing I guess we lost was the gold. Obviously, two diamonds was also there, but. Never mind, we shall bring up our wooden sword of awesome. Aha! Good job I left. Ooh! I left myself something nicer. Right, okay. Well, we don't have any sticks, so let's get some sticks. We don't have any sticks, which is fine. We'll take these down to our mine. And let's grab some wheat, even though there isn't particularly much to it here. There we go. We're going to head down to our base. Bad sheep, stop jumping around in a hole. Oh, suspicious. wonder if there's a... No. Looks a bit random, really. Endermen haven't been playing with my house whilst they've been gone, have they? No? Good. We're not allowed to. It's starting to get dark, which is fine by me. Uh, right, let's see if there's anything along the way as we continue to go down into the depths to search for diamonds. I shall. There we go, you see? Me leaving all these resources behind came in handy eventually. Right. One thing we will be doing is getting a bucket of water because water is definitely a requirement. I'm not quite sure why I didn't take water with me last time, but now I will learn from that mistake. Get ourselves a bit of wheat. There we go. Well, there's no point in getting that piece of wheat, I suppose, seeing as it'll only be spare anyway. Right. We shall bring along our iron picks. And an iron shovel. See, why these two here? It's probably because I went to the surface, I guess. That would have been so much use in not dying. Right, um, what else shall we take? We need torches. We have no torch resources, but we do, I suppose, have um, the coal. Hopefully, we have some coal. We'll use up some of that coal. Um, right, we will make ourselves some new implements. Make some magical pants, a magical hat. Can't make a sword because I don't have any sticks. That's a good point. I'm gonna have to look for sticks. Don't want a block. And what's the other thing? Some magical shoes. Okay. Um there are sticks. That tree hasn't grown sadly. Let's make a bit more room for it. See if we can get it to grow. Out of the goodness of its tree like heart. Not that trees have hearts, I don't think. I don't know if it'll be able to grow because I don't have any bone meal, or do I? And I just haven't noticed. Nope, I don't have any bone meal. Fair enough. So make some um, tools. Get some sticks. I shall make. And um, I suppose I'll always need these. I'll make some more of those, but mainly need one of those. I'll need a new bow. That's another thing that I've lost, of course. Let's put the wooden sword, I guess, in here. Do we have any string? We have a piece of string, which is not particularly great, I guess. We shall increase our. Um, oops. Our reserves here as we expand on our, um, our little farm. I shall plant some of this rather on this side. As long as we have that many seeds, we may as well. And we have a lot of dirt, of course. So I'll plonk those there. Good. Good. Oh. We need a a reiki do hickey jig. Great stuff. We have one of those. 
see we've already recovered thanks to thanks to the hordes of iron I seem to harvest might as well grab that back. there we go cool not sure if that tree will grow but if it does that's great because it just means we have a renewable resource deposit those seeds and I think we can now set off now that we've got we've got minimal food sadly but raw flesh is a resource that's good to come by in this cave I guess got some torches in case we do need to find an area we need to walk by even though there's lava every every other place we only have three pieces though which is a bit mm. so maybe maybe looking for skeletons would be a good idea right so we shall continue our adventure in this general direction now that we have a bucket of water that makes things a lot easier when it comes to finding um, finding lava and having to dodge around it as if it was some kind of demonic creature from which lava came from um, that makes no sense but I'm gonna stick by it as you can see I have had to dig a very very long way unfortunately I'm gonna reclaim some iron here and this is the way that I ended up going in terms of finding the other um, that's where I found some coal and here is where I skip to the next bit okay we we just got out of the tunnel so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna obtain a few more bits of iron in fact if I can find, if, even though I'm really, really low on string and I should have probably harvested that sheep, I'm going to see if I can make a bed, even though it's going to be very tricky to do. I also have to be worried about my food because, to be honest, I don't have much. And I should, if I'd have brought a single seed with me, I could have possibly survived in this area for a lot longer. Sadly, I, I don't have that and I'm now looking into a space of darkness. Hooray! Ooh, this looks interesting. Whoa. At least I jumped over that gap this time. Am I wearing this armour? I will be. Oh, I'm carrying it with me. Well, at least I'll get use from the other armour at some point. Uh, is there anything up here? I hear a zombie. I'm interested in zombies for some reason. This is probably not going the right way I want to go. In fact this just seems like a big stairway to um, to what we call it. No where's Bill. Oh hi there zombie. Ow. Is that another zombie? Nope it was imagination. Right well I'm gonna Seeing as I've obviously had to travel a long distance and I could do with some resources, I feel the best thing I could actually do is um, dig up to the surface and make a new little base camp. Then I can sort of work out where I am in relation to everything. It'd be interesting if I ended up like <laughs> directly underneath the, um, that elusive path I've been building. That would be interesting. I'll ignore that piece of coal. So I shall dig up. And ooh, it's night time. That could be a bad idea. Right. I'll grab this coal. See if I can get out of here slowly but safely. It's a very risky thing this, but we have to do it sometimes. Walking out for creeper noises. This would also be a good way to get string, of course. That looks really ominous. Scary. How high is this? Is it getting d daytime light to... I don't even know what I'm on about. Ooh. Ok, 
go here, skeleton. That's not the worst thing I could hear. Right, we're in a desert. <coughs> Ow. Okay, I just <laughs> I just did a 360 jump then. Epic. Right, so we're in the desert. I think my house is somewhere over there. I will um I will leave it here and come on to the next